welcome to Great News. I am Kevin. This is Mike Catherwood. And every week, why do I say every week? Twice a week, we bring you podcasts that highlight people who are doing nice things for other people. Yeah. It's very refreshing to understand that not everybody's an a-hole and that we live in a world where there's a lot of kindness. It doesn't sound right, but it is true. And so yeah. And I, I think like, Again, and I'm not pointing fingers because I understand it's a business like any other business in media, but the news has a has one obligation, and that's to get ratings to support the advertisement. And, you know, highlighting people doing great stuff doesn't drive ratings as much as highlighting people doing bad stuff. And you get a really kind of tainted view of the way people are, because in reality, I think by and large, people are really good to each other and loving. I agree. And you said taint. All right. I said taint. Mike, uh, do we already do the intro? No. Oh, I was thinking about Liam Gallagher. Uh, I would like to hear Cher do the intro to this episode. It's an intro. <laughs> it's an intro. The same Lord of the Happy Bastille of Blues is covering my mind. I feel like it really right now. Before we move on, I do have one question. Um, yes. The headband is, that's a final decision on the headband? It's yes. Mistake? Just, uh, there was not a okay. contrived thing, as most okay. beautiful things in life are. I, right. I happen to be sitting here next to me. Right. And uh, I was well, like, I you wasn't sitting there next to you. I don't have a headband sitting here next to me. Because uh, it's 100 million degrees here, and wow. I am a very physical person that exercises a lot. Right. And I got tired of sweat being in my eyeballs. All right. So uh, I happened to take this off right here, and I was like, hey, that's going so on my head. So it's gross and sweaty. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it's way nasty. We've talked about um, my absolute hatred of birds. I don't like birds. Birds can go. I don't, when are you going to come visit the farm then? I don't need them. I tried to I tried to pay Mike $100 just to shoot a shotgun over the top of birds just to scare them away because they were so loud we couldn't record this podcast. I don't like them. Well, listen, I'll come, listen, I'll come take care of him if you want me to. One of these days, we're going to be doing a show and a predatory bird is going to come get my bird. Right. Come try. And I'm going to shoot it on the right. show. Okay. It's going to happen. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that day. Until I then, this dude has made friends with a hummingbird. Oh. And hummingbirds are incredibly small. Humming Hummingbirds kick ass, though. That's what I think, too. So watch this guy as he lures a hummingbird in with a little treat and then asks him if he wants to chill. And the hummingbird stops stops his wings and sits on his Hector. hand. Hector, Hector is his name. Huh? That's amazing. Can we take a chill? Can we take a chill? There you go. He stops oh my God. flying. And sits on his hands. Dude. Isn't dude. that something? That's my Look favorite. how beautiful that bird is, man. Jeez. That's the only I bird I like. There's one bird I like, and it's Hector. Do fireflies count as birds? I don't know if they're insects. No. Or not. <laughs> it's not a firefly, it's a hummingbird. No, I know. I'm I'm oh. asking if fireflies are no. actually birds, no. not flies. No, they're flies. They have fly in the name. Yeah, but peanuts have nut in the name, and they're not nuts. <laughs> okay, listen. Huh. <laughs> it's tough to argue. <laughs> Kevin. Yes. Little boys, brothers, reunited. Watch this. Beautiful display of love. That's all there is to it. Just watch this love for another person. It made me so happy. <laughs> You're a part. <laughs> They're speaking Portuguese, so don't think like the audio was off and you couldn't understand them. They're 
you wouldn't be able to, unless, you know, you speak Portuguese. That little kid on the left is a bitch, though, right? <laughs> yeah, because I might feel like that about people. the kid on the right was like, yeah, I'm really happy to see you. Oh, either that or the kid on the right doesn't share that feeling, which would be even more sad. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. All right, my, my next story involves a rapper named J. Cole. And, J. Cole, yeah. Yeah. And Sierra Bossage Russell of Glassboro was in high school when she met him. And okay. he said, if you graduate from college, I will come to your graduation. Huh? Now, of course, that was, you know, four or five years before this particular thing happened. But watch. Well, now a celebrity sighting in our area. Yeah, we love when that happens, especially at these type of celebrity sightings. Grammy-winning rapper J. Cole attended a fan's college graduation at Rowan University. Take a look at the picture. Here's the proof. There's J. Cole with Rowan oh University's God. class of 2022's Sierra Bosarge Fussell from Glassboro. So apparently, when Sierra was in high school, the rapper promised the diehard fan that he would attend her college graduation and he made good on his promise. Wow. She looks so happy. I will say, <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of rap, a big fan. I know that may come as a surprise, but no. as a result of this, I will follow Jay Cole because I think this was a first class operation, him showing up for this graduation. It is, but you're not a fan of rap? I, I thought you had Biggie on your, I, on your iPhone. I know. No? So, so oh. surprising, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, the newscaster is pretty white. Why did he have to ruin everything? <laughs> that was such a beautiful story. <laughs> well, listen, I'm not you much know, of a fan of rap. You know that good guy in the story, the guy that's doing the good thing? Not a fan. I don't like anything about what he does. His entire genre, I, I'm not a fan. So, chair, Why don't like, you shut the yourself. fuck up? Right. Keep that to yourself. I, I, even if he was like, I, I, I totally could understand if he was like, I'm, you know what? I wasn't familiar with this guy's work, but now I'm totally going to support him because this right. is so a uh, first class operation as he put it I, that I'd be like hey uh, okay I understand you're it's a live broadcast you gotta talk and be yourself. what the I'm fuck not a, I'm, I'm not, not a much of a fan rap. of rap <laughs> <laughs> but that's a that's a beautiful and, and J. Cole like the, this is one of many stories of like yes, him being yes. super impressed he's a super impressive guy he is agreed he has a lot yeah. of stories just like this one he's a much better person all around than me oh yeah but initially like Tell me if it, all right. Do you think it at all played a role that she's really, really pretty? I mean, why do you have to ruin the story, Mister? I'm not a fan of rap. And yes, I, I'm a a fan of rap, and b a fan of J Cole. But I answered your question. It, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> it's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even even if he's not got like any other intentions i'm not saying like he's trying to but like i i will tell you i'm a married man i have zero desire to uh to cheat on my wife or even like flirt with the idea or do anything that would potentially offend my or hurt my wife but if a attractive woman asked me to do something i'm much more prone to like be motivated to do it you know yeah yeah all right I don't know why out. you have to ruin the story. Just I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't have ruined the story. You're right. a terrible human. Here's how I'll make up for it. This this one is my this is my widowmaker, Kevin, because this is the one of the stories that I pulled for today that I absolutely cried. Uh, All right, I'm going to follow. I just want you to know that I'm going to follow up your widowmaker with a widowmaker. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, this is a hockey team. I, I can't. I did a little research, but I couldn't really find out. I don't know if it's a college team or a semi-pro team, but it's it's a hockey team of. Uh, they look to be young men, but grown men. Um, and one of their teammates uh, got cancer. Yeah, in a very rare form, unexpectedly was. And look what they do to celebrate the beginning and the end of his chemotherapy treatment. Whole team. We got signs and everything. Team captain gave him a team captain gave him a letter. There's the entire 
they are waiting. Later, they are here to celebrate the end of his training camp. And look, wait. Oh, that one got me, man. Wow. The whole team, too. Yeah, the whole coaching staff and everything. Wow, that's amazing. Imagine if you're too, like, if you're the parent of that poor child, like, that's such a, a spirit booster when you need it most, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Being a parent of that child would be, that would be heartbreaking. And yeah. then to see that team show up like that would be just the opposite. It yeah. would make you feel wonderful. Uh, my next story is a woman by the name of Maria Clark. Her son, Nicholas Peters died a couple of years ago in a car accident. Oh, God. And she knew that he wanted to be a donor. So they donated his organs and a 14 year old boy ended up with his heart. The 14 year old boy had gotten a heart um, implant when he was two and then that had not worked properly. So he needed another another heart. And when this guy got in a car accident, he got this guy's heart. Mm. And the mom, the mom is the woman on the right and she is listening to the heartbeat oh. of her son in this 14-year-old boy. consoled and told him that he wanted to be an organ donor i told him not so we can't bury all this magic we have to share it so we as a family made the decision and decided to go ahead and share his organs and tissues are given life to new families. I'm just glad to know that that heartbeat is still beating on and giving him life, energy, and more passion. Isn't that wow. amazing? Yeah, that's a home run, man. God, what, that's a, awesome. what an incredible sentiment to say you can't just bury all that magic. Yeah, that was really, that was a really beautiful statement. Oh, God, man, he's, I know, I don't mean this in a uh, demeaning way, but he was like just a kid, you know, 25 years. Yeah. Barely yeah. scratching the surface, man. That's, uh, God, that is rough. But, but even in his work. death was able to help people. And yeah. if you're not an organ donor, you absolutely should be. You don't need your organs. At yeah, it's a weird thing. Why P I don't know. Like, it's a weird thing. Like where people get protective of the body. Maybe, I don't know if there's religious stuff there maybe and i don't want to crap on that because it's outside of my understanding but if it's not like that's just a weird thing to be kind of protective of something that could be helpful when you're dead yeah you know? yeah so, i can't imagine that there's anything that they could use for me but they're welcome to try well thicky <laughs> you know do they do they do those transplants yet they do. They do. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, okay. Believe me. All right. <laughs> believe me. They do. I've, I've looked into it because, you know, I suffer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, this guy, Ryan the Lion, I want to make people, uh, I want to give this guy his, his credit. He's a, uh, according to his Instagram account, he is a business coach, maid service coach, and serial entrepreneur. Uh, he's at Ryan the Lion VO. Um, and I guess that's his thing. He's like a venture capitalist and an entrepreneur and investor. And he, and he kind of helps other businesses do better business consultant and whatnot. He 
likes to frequent this diner or cafe, it looks like. And he struck up a conversation with one of the servers there and caught on video doing something that I thought was really beautiful. Check this out. Okay, so, look, we're not going to tip you on the card. What we'd like to do is tip you in cash. And on behalf of all of us here, here's about a thousand bucks. No? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm from this industry, and a lot of us are too. We appreciate everything you do. <laughs> Hug everybody. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You guys have no idea how much has helped me out my life. I'm a single mom, so it's, it's a lot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Before we started these episodes today, Mike was talking about the miracle that single moms are. And yeah, how much work they have to do. And, and by the way, and just to be fair, in single dads, it doesn't happen as nearly as frequently, but it does have I, uh, the comic Josh. Uh, and of course, I can't remember his name now, but it, it does happen where, you know, uh, guys end up doing it. But it's way, 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 way more frequently that you see these single moms. And I don't understand. I, I don't understand how it's possible because uh, because we couldn't I'm, do it. You and I I'm financially stable. My wife and I are, and my wife is now filming her new show, and it's in New Orleans, so she's gone for a lot of time. And and a couple, uh, for when she was filming the pilot, she was gone for two weeks, and it was during my daughter's spring break. And I was like, I don't understand how the fuck people even make it through a day, and and I don't have to worry about paying the rent and feeding my daughter. How the fuck do these people who are scratching to get by with no help? I, it's just it's a goddamn miracle. And to see that woman, you could see it in her reaction. Yes. That wasn't a thousand dollars to just anybody. That was fucking life changing. And I thought that was really sweet. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't money, it was hope for her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh if you like this podcast, subscribe and let your friends know about it. And also click the little notification button so that you can tell when we post them, which is Mondays and Thursdays. Um, Mike, is it possible to do Rick James? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, bitch. It's an outro, bitch. She's a freaking little bitch. It's an outro. Take off your clothes, let's get freaky, cause it's an outro. I want another drink, I love cocaine, and it's an outro. 